you could get cough for many different reasons. Uh, the simplest causes of a cough come from the nose or the throat. Perhaps you've had an infection somewhere and you, you've got a cough for the back of the throat. Sometimes you can get a drip which goes on the back of the throat uh, from the nose and that can cause a cough. Um, sometimes you can get a cough from, you know, having lung disease or uh, or asthma. You know, one of the most common signs of asthma is, have, is a little cough which doesn't quite really go away until you use inhalers. Sometimes you get a lot of acid coming up the throat, you know, um, uh, sigh or even if it's silent, you know, it, it's called reflux and that can irritate the upper linings of the, of the throat and the lungs and that can cause cough. But really, you know, if you've been through all these common things and the cough's not getting better, you have the standard tests and treatments, you've got to consider this cough may be coming from the heart. So to answer your question, yes, uh, cough could come from the heart. It's a symptom of you know, heart disease, especially it's a symptom of heart failure. And sometimes it's a symptom of certain kind of heart medicines. So to answer your question, it could be. Let's go back to how the heart functions. The heart pumps blood to the rest of the body. Uh, and sometimes the pumping power of the heart is affected and it can't expel all the blood and it only pumps in a very weak fashion. And because it can't expel all the blood, blood tends to dam back behind the heart and the organ just behind the heart is the lungs and this, and therefore the lungs get congested with the blood and water from inside the blood because blood is mainly water. The water seeps out into the lung tissue and when that happens, people start getting breathless and then the cough mechanism is activated just to try and clear the airways. And that's how you get what we call a cardiac cough. Yes, um, yes, of course. If the common symptoms of heart failure, first of all, people tend to feel very tired, they get fatigued, they can't walk as much as they used to, they can't do as much as they used to, and then they get breathless. And this breathlessness, you know, you know, creeps up on them. Initially, they find that they can't walk the amount of distance they used to, and this breathlessness gets worse and worse, and sometimes it's sort of with wheeze, and then the cough starts. And sometimes you find that this cough and this breathlessness is often worse lying down at night and people having to sit up and fight for breath and trying to cough and clear their you know, airways. And when the disease has progress even further, the ankles may start to swell. The people might feel very bloated. They might feel the heart is racing away. They might get heavy pains in the chest as well. They might even feel dizzy or a little lightheaded. Uh, these are the other common symptoms of uh, heart failure, of which cough is a very important symptom. I think, I think if you have a cough due to heart disease, due to heart failure, you've got to treat the heart failure. And there are two ways of treating heart failure, but two, two different aspects of treating heart failure. So number one, we try and put people on certain medicines and treatments to actually help ease the pressure on the heart and allow it to function better. And if the heart starts functioning more efficiently or if the body comes better with a weakened heart, the cough then you know, goes away. The second thing we do, and we do it concurrently, is not only do we treat the heart failure and the weakness of the heart muscle and, and the, the way the body reacts to it, but we also try and find out what exactly is causing this heart failure? It's a concomitant investigation. And because there are many, many conditions which give rise to heart failure. I think if people suspect that there is something wrong, uh, they should first of all consult their, their GP, their uh, uh, local doctor, and they'll be the GPs who will guide them. But of course, you know, if you, if you have a symptom such as the cough that is not going away despite the standard treatments, then it's time to look deeper and it's time to consider, you know, other possibilities. That's when people should really consider seeing their GP or seeing a heart specialist.